how the warmer months bring food trucks to the streets, and this will be the second summer you'll see this one out. The Purple People Feeder feature, features barbecue pulled pork, burgers, and chicken wings. We're a bunch of purple people eaters, so why not? <laughs> Kylie is out on the WCCO Plaza inside the food truck. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, Kim and Jason. This food truck is so perfect for Minnesota, and we are so excited to have the owner with us, Devin. Good morning. Good morning. This, okay, it's fun because it's a purple truck, and it started out that way, right? It started out purple, yep, and there came the name, Purple People Feeder. <laughs> I love that it kind of a play on the Vikings, I'm assuming. Absolutely, Worked yeah. out well, then, yeah. you know, Prince, purple, such a Minnesota color. You know, uh, it is a Minnesota color, and if, if you're a Vikings fan or if you're a Prince fan, we kind of have a little bit for everybody here Fantastic. on this food Okay, your background is in something completely different. You did youth development for years working at the YMCA. How did you become a food truck owner? Uh, you know, cooking is something that I always enjoyed and I had a passion for it. And um, I think I had the patience for it <laughs> as well because I think uh, good food is not necessarily fast food. So, um, I, yeah, I just loved cooking throughout my career and uh, I was lucky enough to have a chance to get the truck and uh, yeah, make and a started. make a make a career out of this. So, Speaking yeah, of the food, great. tell us what you're making here. It looks amazing. Uh, right now we've got the uh, behemoth burger. This is the one for the guys that are like really hungry and they want to impress their girlfriend or wife or whatever <laughs> it is. So they get this one. And what we have here is a patty with oh, wow. bacon on top of that, and then we got some uh, cheddar cheese, and we throw our pulled pork. Uh, and speaking of the patience, it takes 12 hours to cook this pulled pork. Really? We put that on top of the cheddar, and then we put a little bit of grilled onion on top of that. Wow. Yep. That is a giant burger. Yeah. That's one of your, your top sellers? Absolutely. Topped with Havarti cheese. Oh, there's more still happening down on here. a little bit. <laughs> Then I get my handy dandy cheese melter. <laughs> Excellent. And this is where the magic happens a little bit. Ooh. I always love when there's a good sizzle. <laughs> Very good. Over it's here we've got a pulled pork taco. And this is a barbecue style taco. So a lot of people uh, have had your traditional taco, but this is kind of a purple people feeder spin on it. Um, comes with barbecue sauce, grilled onions. We put the coleslaw on top. And uh, this is uh, also a very tasty very tasty item, good for street food as well. All right, reveal the burger, can we? Or is it time? Burger, oh, look at that. That's a beauty right there. Nice toasted brioche bun. Excellent. So Devin, I know that you did youth development for about a decade, and you were just telling me about how you've actually kind of carried some of that over. Some of the people you used to work with are now working on the truck? That's right, yeah. I uh, always had a passion for youth, and I uh, found out it was good. I could relate to the young people very well yeah. um, too so when I had the opportunity to get the food truck I also had an opportunity to give some of those young people a chance to get some first-time employment and uh, get some experience working with food and what's it's that just been, been like for you super rewarding very yeah. rewarding to be able to do that for the, for the young guys and uh, yeah I think they get a kick out of it too it's a fun <laughs> fast-paced uh, environment and uh, they get to be outside in the summertime working and making some money. So yeah, it's a win-win all around. Absolutely, and I know that you guys, you're busy, uh, mm -hmm. and I know you were outside at some of the Vikings games, but where can yeah. people find you this summer? Uh, this summer, we'll be downtown for lunches as much as possible. We park right down by uh, the Commons Park, right by the U.S. Bank Stadium. Makes sense, that's where, yeah. you know, purple. Yeah. <laughs> we try to get down there as much as possible, but we're also available for any type of corporate lunch or private yeah. events, um, and we like to do those as much as we can. Fantastic. So. Devin, we can't thank you enough for coming in and sharing this behemoth burger. That Absolutely. is amazing and the work that you, you do, hungry. too. Uh, very, <laughs> always very, very hungry when you guys come around. And so we will link to where you can find Devin on our website, WCCO.com slash links. But the behemoth burger, what do you guys think? Could anyone handle it? Well, I don't know. He said that uh, if you want to impress a lady in your life, order that burger. Jason, you think yeah. Alyssa would be impressed if you down that thing? I mean, there's no question one of the key things that attracted her to me is my ability to eat a large <laughs> burger. So It looks good, Kylie. It looks I mean, that's what you do, Jason. That's your thing. You're yeah. to Russia eats. Yeah, oh, yeah. She loves that. Ooh, here we go. All right. it's, getting, it's getting set up. Very good. Looks good. Nice guy, too. Very yes. good. Great story. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kylie. Uh, if only smell -a vision existed, we've got the Purple People Feeder parked outside our studio this morning. It smells good. They're cooking up pulled pork tacos, something called the Behemoth Burger. 
they feed the purple people eaters. Correct. I think. Yes, and Kylie Burks is inside the truck. Kylie, the food you were showing us looks amazing. Oh, it is, Kim. This is not for the faint of heart. And it's so perfect for Minnesota because, come on, purple, we got Vikings, we got Prince. It makes so much sense. And we have Devin here with us, and you started this truck. Okay, we got to start with the name. Where did this come from? Uh, the Purple People Feeder. Well, it was a purple truck when I bought it. It was already purple. It was already painted purple out in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Drove it back to here. Um, and we went through a bunch of different names, a bunch of friends and families, and uh, the Purple People Feeder is what stuck. I'm sure the people love that when they come up and they're like, oh, this they is do. so Minnesota. A lot of people love the name. You know, you got your Prince fans, you got your Vikings fans. It just kind of goes with what we're doing here. It makes perfect sense. Okay, they love the name, but then they really love the food. So they let's really talk about what food. you're making this the morning. The food is the feature. So right now we're going to be making our pastrami melt on this side, and then we're going to make some bourbon brown sugar wings. Excellent. Pastrami is, uh, everything comes out hot on the truck. Put a little grilled onions on top of Swiss, and then we've got some cheddar cheese getting ready to go in between the, uh, the bread there. Excellent. And a little piece of resistance to put this. Uh, more cheese. More cheese. <laughs> Always got to have more cheese. I must say, I love the amount of cheese that you use <laughs> every morning. And then we've melting. got the, the wings over there. And we've got people already lining up outside of the truck we to do. eat the couple, wings this morning. Couple of lookers there. And then we put the, uh, bur these are bourbon brown sugar wings. So they're coated wow. with sweet and sticky sauce. Uh, people love these. You do need a napkin or a wet wipe with one of these because they're going to get you a little. You're already your dirty when you're saucy. eating this. You're Devin, your background is fascinating because it has nothing to do with food. Actually, you worked in youth development. Yeah, I was a uh, recreation and sport management major and uh, got a job working with kids right out of college and uh, did that for about 10 years. My passion always had been cooking and uh, I was pretty good at it, so I decided uh, one day to. I was writing a recipe at my desk and decided I'd go ahead and uh, take the leap into the food truck game and uh, here we are. Fly out to Oregon, get the truck and bring you it back. It. And Throw I love back. too that you kind of continued that too, working here at the truck. You actually have a couple of the kids that you used to work with. That's right, yeah. I have a couple of guys that graduated high school and uh, we're looking for some summertime employment and what a great opportunity for them to come here, work for the food truck and uh, earn some cash and have a fun uh, fun summertime experience. Devin, I love what you do, and I love your food. I wish you guys could smell those wings. Don't they look amazing? They do. <laughs> and Kylie, you're not that far away from me right now, so uh, I I'm would not, love to Kim, smell I'm them in real kidding. time. There's people waiting out here. Do you see? we got a purple, Are they people, confused? purple person. we oh got a purple goodness. person waiting to eat. He wants the wings. I you don't gotta blame him. I'm going to be next in line. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kylie.